Hello everybody, thank you for watching this short video introducing the importance of PPE. PPE is short for Personal Protective Equipment. As a general rule, you need to wear PPE to reduce the risk you face while working in lab areas, handling harmful substances or other dangerous work, as you will now see. We are surrounded by many kinds of risk. What could happen if you don't wear PPE? Doing experiments without wearing PPE can lead to very serious accidents. Injury Carcinogenic substances adhere to clothes. Family members get infected. Third party accidents. Bacteria adhere to hands. Virus aerosols enter the mouth. I will now introduce the different types of PPE. Lab coats. Protective glasses. Face shields. Gloves. Surgical mask, N95 mask, gas masks, hair caps, ear plugs. The PPE unit differs depending on where you are working and the type of pathogen, chemical substance, or equipment that you are using. Use the right PPE for the experiment or work that you are doing. The basic PPE sets include a lab coat, shoes, and protective glasses. Please wear shoes in all lab areas. For your own safety, sandals are strictly prohibited in lab areas. And of course, you cannot come in barefoot either. As a general rule, you should always wear PPE in the lab irrespective of whether or not you are actually handling harmful substances. Be sure to do up the buttons on your coat. The sleeves or some other part could get caught on test equipment and cause an accident. There is a cabinet for storing lab coats at the entrance. If your lab does not have one, please contact the facilities department. If some liquid splashes during this experiment, it could go in your eye. You could also get hurt by something which happens in an experiment being done next to you. Third-party accidents are not rare. In fact, they represent as many as 15% of all accidents that occur in chemical experiments. Protective glasses are important in lab areas. Depending on what you are doing, a face shield may also be recommended. Surgical masks are useful for keeping you safe and preventing the spread of saliva and other substances between people. They are inexpensive, but they, because of the gaps, they do not prevent infection by viruses and other microorganisms. This is an N95 mask. Although it is expensive, it is the best way to prevent droplet infection by viruses. This kind of gas mask is useful for preventing exposure to gas. Your hands can get easily contaminated by chemical agents and pathogens while you are doing experiments. Be sure to wear gloves whenever you are handling harmful substances. What type of PPE to use and how to use it depends on where you are working and what you are doing. 
We will now introduce precautions to take in various different settings. You need to wear your PPE, not only while performing an experiment, but also when preparing for and cleaning up after one. Stop. You should still wear your PPE when throwing away liquid waste. Liquid nitrogen is extremely cold, so it's very dangerous to handle. That's why we need to wear special gloves and protective glasses. You need to wear personal protective equipment the right way, like this. You have to wear the right protective glasses for the laser that you're using. It's important to choose the right glasses with the right optical density for the laser that you're using in order to protect your eyes. Do not forget to take off rings and other hand jewelry since laser beams will be reflected by those. Wear work clothes, not lab coats in workshops to prevent getting entangled in the equipment. People with long hair like this need to tie their hair back and wear a cap. Please make sure to remove your lab coat and gloves when you leave your lab area. If you don't, a reagent or virus could be spread around the cafe Make sure to remove your lab coat and gloves when you leave your lab area. We need to autoclave lab coats after they've come in contact with pathogens and other materials. You can send your lab coat away to a specialist cleaning company. Thank you! Also, we need to be careful when removing uh, lab coats and gloves. After usage, the outer surface of the gloves and lab coats might be contaminated. So when removing, be careful not to touch the surfaces. Wearing PPE is essential for your safety. It is important to protect not only yourself, but also your family. Be sure to wear PPE every day to help prevent accidents. Thank you for your attention.